Hi, this is Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit three, lesson 13, divide whole numbers by unit fractions. Let's divide a whole number by a unit fraction. What do you notice? What do you wonder? What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I notice there's a woman and it looks like she's sewing a quilt and she had some people watching her sew that quilt. I see scissors, I see string, I see a woman with glasses on, there's a kid watching. I wonder who that woman is and what does the rest of the blanket look like? And I also wonder if she sewed the whole thing or did she have some help? These pictures show a woman from Geese Bend, Alabama who have been making quilts for generations. How would you describe the quilt they're working on? Well, it's colorful. There are rectangles. I see rectangles in different shapes. And again, it's different colored piece of fabric. I see some long rectangles, some short ones. Um, there we go. All right. If the blue strip of fabric under the woman's chin is one meter long, about how long is the short gray strip next to it? So I think that they're talking about this piece here. They're saying that that piece is one meter. Then we have to guess about how long this piece is. I would say, I would cut it here. It might be a little bit longer. Let's say about right here. And then I would say it's one fourth of a meter. I don't know, that one's really difficult to estimate. One fourth of a meter, maybe one third of a meter, maybe, no, it's longer than that. So one, two, three, four, I would say one fourth of a meter, maybe a little bit shorter than that. All right, below are diagrams that show strips of different colored paper. Each strip is two feet long. The paper strips will be cut into different sized pieces. The red strip will be cut into pieces that are a half a foot long. How many pieces will there be? All right, so if they're cutting this piece into half foot pieces, that means I'm gonna take the one foot and cut it in half, right? So here's one half foot. So that means I'm gonna have to cut over here. So then there would be one, two, three, four pieces. The green strip is gonna be cut into thirds of a foot long. So here's my foot. I'm gonna cut it into three pieces this time. And then I'm gonna to have to cut over here two times, right? So I'm gonna have three, six pieces. So I think that there would be six pieces. The orange strip is going to be cut into fourths. So first I'm gonna cut it into half and then I'm gonna cut each of those in half. Cut this one in half and then cut each of those in half. And so I'm going to end up with eight pieces. Describe what was the same about the problems you solved and describe what was different. Well, what was the same was that they're both two, they're all two feet long, right? We all started with two feet long, one foot, two foot, one foot, two foot, one foot, two foot. What was different was that we were cutting them into smaller and smaller pieces. So that's a half, this is a third, and then this is a fourth. So it gets smaller and smaller, and I'm getting more pieces each time, four pieces, six pieces, eight pieces. So the smaller I cut it, the more pieces I'm gonna get. Are there any other words or phrases that are important to include in our display? You and your class can talk about that and add them to your chart if you think of some. How do these equations represent the problems about the, the strips of paper? Ah, so I think that we took two feet long. This is the two foot long strip. And this is the half foot that we cut them into. So this was the whole thing. This was the whole and we cut them into half foot long strips and we got four strips, right? And then again, we had two whole feet. We cut them into third foot each, each strips. 
and then we got six. And the same thing with cutting them into fourths. How do these equations represent problems about the paper strips? The two is for the two feet of paper, and the fraction show the size of the pieces that the paper is being cut into. The four and the six and the eight are the number of pieces of the colored paper. All right, let's talk about more paper strips. Yay! Karen has a yellow strip of paper. Let's go ahead and draw that. Karen has a yellow strip of paper. Whoops, I need a pen. Yellow strip of paper that is two feet long. So this will be one foot, and this will be the other foot. Okay. He wants to cut the strip into pieces that are one-sixth of a foot long. So that means one-sixth of a foot, I'm going to have to cut this into six pieces, right? So let's do that. And then I'll cut this one. So let's make sure we have six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many pieces will he have? Well, he'll have 12, right? Six in one foot and six in the other. So 12 pieces. Each are going to be one-sixth of a foot. Each one-sixth foot long. Okay? Write a division equation to represent this situation. All right, so I think we would divide the two into sixths. And that would give us, I need an equation, so I need the answer, equals 12. All right, then it asks me to describe how equation 3 divided by 1 sixth equals 18 represents the strip of paper that is 3 feet long cut into equal sized pieces. So to do that, I would just have to add another foot, right? This is my one foot. So now I have three feet, and I'll take yellow for that one, and I'm going to cut this one into six pieces. So how many pieces do I have now? Well, I have six, six, and six. So that's six times three is 18. All right, so I'm sort of seeing a pattern here, right? 2 divided by 6 gives me a big number because that's how many pieces I'm cutting it into. So let's think about that as we move on. How does the equation 2 divided by 1 6 equals 12? How does that represent the yellow piece of paper? The strip of paper is 2 feet long. So 2 feet long. Let me get a color you can see. 2 feet long. Sorry about that. two feet long. So this is the whole strip of paper. And I had to cut those into six pieces, right? Six pieces. So if there's a two foot long piece and I'm cutting it into six, each of those feet will be six feet. So I'm going to get two of them. That's going to be the 12. Three divided by one six is 18. How does this equation represents a different strip of paper being cut into equal sized pieces. Well, a three foot piece of paper, so this is my strip that's three feet, I'm dividing each one of those feet into six, right? So each foot is going to give me six pieces. Six times three is 18. So they're going to be 18 pieces. Why is the quotient larger than the dividend in both of these equations? Because I'm cutting a whole number, I'm cutting three, oops, let's go back again, there we go, I'm cutting three into six pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six. So each one of these is going to be six pieces, right? Six pieces and six pieces. So it's 12 pieces. 12 of the, or 18, sorry, 18 pieces that I've cut apart. So the fractional, the uh, you're cutting a whole number into a fractional piece, so there will be more little pieces than when you started. Okay. Kind of confusing, but it does work. These are some of the equations we discussed today. Why is the quotient getting larger in each one? All right, so the lar it's getting larger because here I'm cutting two feet into 
two pieces. So each foot is being cut into two pieces, right? And cutting in half. So I'm going to get four pieces. So the bigger I cut, the smaller the size, the number of pieces, smaller the number of pieces. The smaller I cut, the larger the number of pieces. Here I'm going to be cutting each foot into six pieces, so I'm going to get 12. So it's going to get larger and larger and larger. All right. Moving on, if I can get it to move on now. All right, so now we have 3 divided by 1 sixth is 18. Again, I am cutting 3 into smaller pieces instead of 2, so I'm going to get more pieces. Here's another equation we discussed. In this equation, the size of the piece is the same as the equation above. Why is the quotient getting larger? 2 is divided by 1 sixth. 2 is divided by 1 sixth would be 1 twelfth, right? So if I had 2 feet, yeah, we have it right here. Why is this one smaller than this one? Well, because here I have 3 feet to cut apart, so I'm going to have 3 sixths. Over here I'm only going to have 2 sixths, so it's going to be larger. All right. Here is our cool down. Let's see if we remember what we were taught today. Han has a strip of paper that is three feet long. He cuts it into pieces that are one foot long. So first I'm going to write an equation, right, or an expression. I'm going to divide my three foot long piece into fourths. Okay, so each foot is going to be cut into fourths. Can you tell me, do you know already how long what the answer will be, how many pieces I'm going to get. So I'm, I'm taking three feet, so I'm going to cut it into three feet. So here is one foot. Why did I write that? Let's see. Here we go. One foot. One foot. So I have to cut that one foot into four pieces. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So now I'm thinking about just this one piece, right? So I'm going to cut this one into fourths and this one into fourths. So how many fourths do I have in all three of my feet? I have four plus four plus four is 12. So I'm, that's going to be one twelfth, one twelfth. All right. So it's okay. No, I'm sorry. That's not one twelfth. It's going to be 12 pieces. What am I thinking about? They're asking how many pieces, right? How many pieces would there be? There will be 12 pieces. Whew, I'm glad I was thinking about my work. I had to rethink that, right? So if they're asking me how many pieces there are, there are going to be 12 pieces that I cut if I'm cutting them into one-fourth pieces, one-fourth of the three feet. Okay. All right. We figured that out. Okay. So I'll see you next time in lesson 14. Good job.